Hello, my name is Jan Benham, founder and CEO of the Institute of Aromatherapy and Aroma Shop. I have been a practicing aromatherapist and holistic health practitioner for over 40 years, a teacher for over 35 years, and a cosmetic formulator since the 1980s. Today, I'm going to talk about adding essential oils to cosmetics and the differences between adding essential oils or adding chemical components of the essential oils to cosmetics. And I'm referring mainly here to say moisturizer creams. So the topic I'm particularly looking at here is the chamomile family and bisabololol. Now you can buy, if you're um, making your own products, you can buy the chemical bisabololol and it's a very good chemical. It, when it's applied, added to a lotion or a, or a cream, it will help soothe the skin. So it's great for redness, rosacea, eczema, and so on. Now, bisabololol is extracted mainly from the Roman chamomile plant, from the essential oil of it. And the chamomile plants, what, what they do, they, um, they obviously make uh, a distillation of the plants and it produces an essential oil and then they extract the bisabololol from the essential oil and then they sell it separately. Now companies nowadays because it is an expensive process to do and they don't get much out of the plants that they make they want to have sustainability. So um, they started producing synthetic bisabololol and the problem with that is though that when you see bisabololol in a cream, you can't tell whether it's synthetic or from the natural source. The other thing they're starting to do now is try, trying to make bisabololol from, again, from natural sources without having to use the plant. Now, that is all very well and good, but what is wrong with just using chamomile? So the chamomile is from a family of chamomiles. I'm not going to go into the, chem the um, Latin names of them at the moment. And they're a group of family. And these families in botanical classification belong to this, what they look like with each other. So you can take the citrus family, such as that produce lemons and limes that produce as a fruit. So they all look similar and they produce grapefruits, lemons, limes, oranges, and so on. The chamomile family, all look similar in that they have little flowers growing and they look similar to each other. So they've classified them into a family. So this includes Roman or English chamomile as it's commonly known, German chamomile, yarrow and tagetes. Now this family, they notice that they all have also similar properties to each other. So all families have similar properties and the, you can see here, there is a difference though between each one. So I'm just going to talk about Roman chamomile and German chamomile. So first of all, German chamomile is, produces a blue color. So if you get a true German chamomile, it will be blue in color. And this is because it contains a lot more azulene in. And annually, azulene is incredibly anti-inflammatory for on the skin. It doesn't smell necessarily particularly good, but I found it's superb for helping to heal cuts and wounds and also helping to take away inflammation if I've been doing extractions, for example, in a facial. And then we have Roman chamomile, um, which is also known as English chamomile, and it has a smell like apples. So in England, often they will make um, the difference, of course, in how the plant looks, I should go through that now, is they've got the little flowers. The Roman chamomile grows much on, more on the ground, whereas the German chamomile grows much taller. So often uh, people in England will make a chamomile lawn with the Roman chamomile, which is wonderful because when you walk on it, it releases the ascent, the scent of the chamomile, which is very incredibly calming to the body and to the mind. So that's why we have chamomile tea at night to calm us and help us sleep. So these group of um, essential oils, this family of plants, are the general therapeutic properties, are basically the antiseptic, well, all essential oils are antiseptic, the anti-inflammatory, 
They're soothing to emotional upsets and skin, and they help with skin irritations, can aid in regeneration due to the calming influences. So that is Roman chamomile, German chamomile, yarrow, and tadger teas. So this begs the question, you can add bisabololol to your um, product, or you could add Roman chamomile. Now, yes, it might be a little bit more expensive. Why would you add the one and not the other? Well, bisabololol is one chemical, whereas Roman chamomile contains hundreds of chemicals, and this is the same through all the essential oils. So you have the effect where you've got so many other essential oils, that, uh, chemicals that all help to work in synergy with each other to aid that product, you know, aid in the healing or the health of the skin. So you add a drop of Roman chamomile to your skincare routine and it will soothe and calm. You can also add bisabololol as well, and there's nothing wrong with that, but just be aware, is it synthetic or is it natural? So how many drops would you add? So to 50 ml of a moisture cream, I would start with say four to five drops and of Roman chamomile and see how you go there. If you have a badly inflamed skin, I would just use um, a drop of a 10% blend of German chamomile. It's really expensive. So get the 10% blend because we blend our German chamomile into jojoba oil, which is also really good for the skin. And you could just add a drop of that if it's uh, mixed into a little bit of cream in the palm of your hand and just apply it to the red areas and it will take down the redness. So this is great for rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, any skin irritations, and it's completely safe and non-toxic to dogs, cats, and humans, and children, and really calming for children. So I do hope you found this useful, and get back to me if you have any questions. Bye for now.